Hey guys, hope you're well. So this lesson is gonna be all about how to calculate resistance, okay? We get two types of resistance um, scenarios. We get resistors that are connected in series and we get resistors that are connected in um, parallel. So when it's connected in series, they literally go one after each other like that. So maybe this would be R1, this would be R2, and this would be R3. And remember, resistors are things that we are trying to power in a device. So maybe it's light bulbs, um, it could be a buzzer, it could be all sorts of little things, resistors. It could be your fridge at your house, it could be a television, okay? So these are what resistors are. Now parallel, uh, what parallel does is it, you remember in maths you get parallel lines, which are like that, okay? So that's what parallel is. Um, you might get three of them in parallel, for example, okay? And so maybe that would be R1, R2, and R3. Now there are different ways to calculate uh, resistance when it's in series and when it's in parallel. In series, it is really easy to work out the total resistance of all of that. You literally just go plus them together, okay? And in this lesson, we are gonna do some examples with numbers as well. So you just go plus them together. With parallel, it is so different, guys. So with parallel, you're gonna say one over R parallel or one over R total, whatever you wanna call it. Then you're gonna say one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. And then if there were more, you would just keep adding them all up together, okay? So then you would go ahead and you would get your, or this is the formula that you are going to use. Now, I'm gonna show you with calculations now how it actually works. So let's start first example. So let's say for example, we have, um, a resistor here, this is three ohms. And then let's say after that we have um, a two ohm, a four ohm, and then a six ohm, okay? So to work out the total resistance of all of that, you'd literally just go plus them together. So it's three plus two plus four plus six, which is going to be uh, 15 ohms, okay? Now let's go do a parallel example. So let's say we have a four ohm and a two ohm and a five ohm all connected in parallel. Later in this lesson, I'm even gonna give you um, scenarios where we're gonna have a series connection and then all of a sudden we're gonna have a parallel connection, okay? So that's all coming up in this lesson. So stay tuned for that. Um, we're gonna be doing quite a few of those. So what you would do here, these are all in parallel. So what you would do is you would say one over R total, this is the formula, and then you say one over four plus one over two plus one over five. Now, what do we act, how do we actually do this? Well, what you do is the following. You go type all of this on your calculator, okay? So go type one over four plus one over two plus one over five on your calculator, and that's gonna give you 19 over 20. Now, when it looks like this, then you're gonna switch this one, you're gonna switch the, this fraction upside down, and you're gonna switch this fraction upside down. So on the left, you're gonna end up with R total over one equals to 20 over 19. But when you ever have something over one, it's just, you can just ignore it. And so there you've worked it out. R total is 20 over 19. Let's do some more. Okay, so now we're gonna do one where we have, um, two of them in series, and then we're gonna have a parallel part over here, like that. And so let's say this is a four ohm, whoopsie, this is a four ohm, and then this is a two ohm, and then this is a, let's say this is a three ohm, and this is a one ohm. Okay, so this part over here is really easy, that's in series. So you're just gonna add those two together. So those two together will just be six, okay? the four plus two, because you just add them to become six. But now this part over here is in parallel. So you have to, um, so let's just quickly go work out the series one, let's just write it down. The series part is four plus two, which is six ohms. Now this part is in parallel. So you're gonna say one over R parallel 
or one over r total. Okay, so for the parallel part, you could say one over r total uh, for the parallel part though, and that's gonna be equal to one over three plus one over one. And then just go ahead, type this on the calculator, and that would give you four over three. So four over three. But then to work out what it actually is, you switch this fraction upside down and you switch this fraction upside down. So you end up with R total parallel is equal to three over four. Okay, so what we've now done is we've worked out what these two would be. So that was the same as six ohms. You could just imagine it like that. Then what we did is we worked out what is this one over here and we worked that out as three over four. So now you can just write it as three over four. Then you just add these two together as if they are in series. And so that would be six plus three over four. And so your final answer would be 6.75 ohms. And so the entire resistance over here is 6.75 ohms. Let's do some more examples. So let's say for example, we have a parallel part, then we've got a series part, and then we've got another parallel part. Okay, so let's say this is a two ohm, this is a one ohm, three and two, and then two and five. Okay, so the way you'll do it, it's almost like bod mass. So you'll go work out these ones by themselves, you'll go calculate these ones by themselves, and then you would go calculate these two together, and then you'll put all of the answers together after that. So let's call this section A, section B, and section C. So for section A, that's parallel. So you're gonna say one over r parallel is equal to one over two plus one over one. Then if you go type that on the calculator, this part over here, you end up with three over two. You then switch both fractions upside down. So you end up with r parallel is equal to two over three. And then let's just say ohms. Now this section is in series, okay? So this section was in parallel and then this section is in series. So you're just gonna say three ohms plus two ohms, and that's gonna give us five ohms. Then if we go ahead and look at section C, well that's once again in parallel. And so what you need to do now, and then by the way, after this question, after this one, the next one is gonna be even more interesting where I'm gonna add something that we haven't seen before. So just make sure to look out for that one. So for this part here, it's gonna be one over R parallel is equal to one over two plus one over five. And so R one over R parallel is equal to, now just go ahead and type this on your calculator. That's gonna be seven over 10. Then what you do is you flip it over. So R parallel is equal to 10 over seven. Okay, now all that you do now is you just go take this answer, this answer, and this answer, and you add them together. So the total resistance of this whole part, of this whole section, is going to be two over three, plus five, plus 10 over seven. And so that's gonna give us 149 over 21, or if you wanted to round to two decimal places, it would actually become 7.10 ohms. Let's do another example. So this one's going to be quite interesting because we're going to do something like this. We're going to have a series and a parallel all in one like that. And this is a part where a lot of learners make mistakes. Okay. So let's say that this is a three ohm, this is a two ohm, and this is a four ohm. Now you've got to be careful. This is not the same as if we had this, where this would be like a three ohm, a two ohm, and a four ohm. It's not the same as that. If, the, if this was the case, then it would just all be in parallel, okay? But this is a little bit different. What we have here is a series, that series, okay? And we need to go combine that together in series first before we can do the parallel calculation. So we first need to go and say three plus two. So three ohms plus two ohms is five ohms, okay? So now we can imagine that this whole part here is five ohms. You could imagine that it actually just looks like this. Now, these two are in parallel. And so now we can say one over five plus one over four. So uh, one over R parallel. And if you then had to go calculate the right-hand side, you would get 
9 over 20, 9 over 20, and then you just flip that around, flip that around, and so that parallel is going to be 20 over 9, and that would be the final answer. Let's do one more where we throw in a bit of everything now. Okay, so what you need to identify is that this branch over here and this branch are in parallel, but these three are in series, so they need to be combined into series first, okay? So let's call that section A, and then this could be section B, and then all of this could be section, so all of this whole parallel part here, we could think of that as section C. So I'm gonna do section A first. So section A, we're gonna say that that's in series, so that'll be um, in series, and so we'll just say one plus three plus two, and that's gonna give us six ohms, okay? So you could imagine that it almost does this, it almost does this now. So now that's what it looks like. So now we can easily go calculate section C, which was these two, um, because now they are in parallel. So it's only parallel when you have one resistor in every pathway, okay? You must not have, you mustn't do parallel when it looks something like this. Um, let's rather do it like that. That is not parallel yet. You would have to first combine these together to make one resistor in series, and then you can combine these in parallel, okay? So now we can go use parallel, so we can say one over R parallel, this is section C, and we could say that that's one over six plus one over two, and so one over R parallel is gonna be two over three, and then you just flip and flip, and so you end up with R parallel is equal to three over two ohms. Okay, so now you can almost imagine that this whole part is just equal to three over two. So you could almost imagine that what we have now is just this, three over two. And then you could go add these two together, or you could just add all of these together because they're all in series now. And so you could just say that the total resistance is gonna be three over two plus one plus three, and that'll give us 11 over 2, or you could say 5.5 ohms.